Hey lovers, it's Crash here with recording artist Erin Bowman. She's 21 years old, repping it from New Jersey with a single titled problem, getting some major airplay. This girl is really on the rise. What's going on, Erin? Hey Crash, I'm good. How are you doing? I am doing stupendous. I've just been cranking out some of your tunes and uh, bragging to my friends around here that I got this beautiful lady to interview. Where did Aaron start, and what do you got going on? Uh, well, I am I'm 21. I'm from New Jersey. I always really loved music. I think in high school is when I really decided that I wanted to be a pop singer, but I was thinking about going to college, and, you know, I wanted to go to school, get an education, but then I was so 100% about music that senior year, like, really when everyone was accepting, you know, college, like, which college they wanted to go to, I just decided that I wanted to go right into music after high school. So I went around looking in New York City for like any girl group auditions or, you know, meeting with producers and stuff like that. And I met with a producer, we really clicked and we've been working together for a few years now. And we have really awesome songs together. And um, yeah, we have a really good writing relationship. So, you know, I started writing with him and everything. So now I am Aaron Bowman, pop singer songwriter. Awesome, and you're so. working with J.J. Appleton, right? Yes, J.J. Appleton. I had read that you actually tried out with him for a girl group, is that correct? Mm-hmm. Ah, so you're all set and ready to become a Euro chick. I was, yep, I saw that they were looking for a girl to go live in London, be a part of this girl group, and I was 18 at the time, and I was like, oh my gosh, yes, I would love to move to London, <laughs> sign me up. <laughs> So at that period in time, were you more accustomed towards group singing, like choirs in high school and such? Going through school, like I was always a part of choirs and stuff in school, uh, but I really knew pretty much that I always wanted to be a solo artist. But when I saw the girl group, you know, I was looking for any auditions, like as an artist, you're really just, you know, looking for work and trying to, you know, get stuff. So. Uh, I saw the girl group and I went for it, but then when he met with me, he decided that he wanted me as a solo artist anyway, and that he'd rather work with me just as a solo artist. So it really worked out in my favor. <laughs> oh, and most definitely your single problem right now. I've been seeing this on Sirius XM Radio. How did you come up with this single? How long did it take to produce and the video? I want to know how you came up with the video. For the song, actually, it was one of the first songs that I really wrote. Uh, my producer, J.J. Appleton, had had the idea for the song. He had like certain lyrics and certain melodies. And he said just one day, like, oh, Aaron, I'm working on this song. He emailed me, I'm working on this song. Um, some of the lyrics aren't right, stuff's not right about the song. Do you think you could listen to it and maybe come up with some better ideas? So, uh, and just tweak what he already had. Um, so I took it and I like rewrote a few of the words, like a little little sections here and there, and we went through it, and that turned into a problem. So it was it's really great that like that's one of my first songs, and now to see it as my debut single is just an awesome feeling. Uh, the video actually, which we just we just filmed like a little while ago, a few weeks ago, um, I just thought of you know all things. What are things that people do that really could get to you and really like? You know, they don't think it's a problem, but you're sitting there like, okay, this is a problem, especially when it's thing after thing. So I just started writing down things that we could, that could really come across as problems in a video and, you know, have them be funny and clever. So we thought of like mowing the lawn while the guy sits there and like leaving the bathroom seat, like the toilet seat up and, you know, drinking the rest of the Coke, like, and then leaving or just leaving like a little bit of it and putting it back in the fridge. So, yeah, and we slowly, you know, we're coming up with different ideas, and then we, you know, we got rid of some, got rid of those bad ones, and yeah, then we had problem. Is this your first experience on a music video? Because I, I have a pretty decent experience shooting this kind of stuff as a broadcasting person. You know, mm -hmm. you have to lip sync the whole thing in, you know, different clothes, different places. How much work did this take to get done? Um, it took, yeah, it took a, a little while, especially since, you know, like I'm busy with other things. So we were shooting like all different days, different times. We needed like some night time, some day time. So uh, it took a little while, but it was honestly, it was a lot of fun. Um, it does take a, you know, it takes a while to do that kind of stuff. But if you really enjoy like singing and music, it's a lot of fun to 
you know, be acting in a video to your song and really have it come across and then see, like, the final product at the end. So I'm really excited about Problem. Like, it was a really good feeling to see it all um, when it was finished. And I love the supporting actor. That guy makes the video perfect. Uh, he did <laughs> he was job. He was a good choice. He's a very... Um, he really does come across like he has a lot of problems and he doesn't think he does. So, so yes, thank you. So the lyrics to the song, Problem Whatnot, is, is this legit? Is there a failed relationship in here or where does this stem from? Yeah, there's a, there might be a few failed relationships. Um, but I also think, I mean, yes, for me, the song is about a guy. But I think that a lot of people can relate to this just you know it doesn't even have to be like in a relationship with someone and you know i never say like oh guys guys are bad like this and that it can easily be for a guy about a girl you know like there are plenty of people in everyday life that you know their problem is they think they don't have a problem so i think for me it was originally about a guy but now especially the feedback i'm getting there are so many people that say like oh this isn't even like relationship wise, but just this person that I met the other day, like, oh, they think they don't have a problem and they totally do. Like, so I think it's a really good lyric for just all different situations. Oh, I definitely agree. First time I heard it, I was like, you yeah, know, this, this is a catchy tune right here. She looks good. <laughs> the video's awesome. You know, this girl's going somewhere. And then I saw the uh, XM radio and all that good stuff. So I was definitely happy to see that. Knew I had to get you on it to an interview. Oh, well, thank you so much. I'm really <laughs> excited to be talking to you right now. You're very, very <laughs> welcome. And I've seen some other songs on YouTube on your official site. Can you explain what's going on with that and an upcoming album? I mean, we have pretty much most of the material for my debut album. We're just kind of finishing up tracks right now um, and picking which ones we really want to use. So we have, you know, we're still like deciding on what a second single would be and all that, but we're still, I'm still working in the studio right now and still, I mean, I write every day, so we're still writing and recording and just, you know, making sure it's a solid album. So growing up, who were your main influences? Well, one of my biggest is probably TLC. I just like absolutely love TLC. Oh yeah. So they're a good one. Um, Spice Girls, I feel like we're just, they're just like the coolest <laughs> five girls. So that's a big one. You were a Spice Girl fan girl in the day? Oh, my goodness. Like, you wouldn't even believe. <laughs> you, know, you know what I was a fanboy of when I was in middle school? What? Limp Biscuit. Oh, really? Yeah, so I, I had some dark days back then. <laughs> Very nice. What is next for you? What, what do you got coming up? We are working on a live performance and setting up, you know, the set and making sure everything's perfect. So we're working on that, and hopefully I will start really performing live you know all over I, we wanted to originally do like an east coast tour so we're really just taking what comes to us and seeing who's interested well i'm gonna do my best to get you down here in the lone star state of texas the south needs to hear aaron bowman go ahead and check out her facebook her official site aaronbowman.net youtube watch her video buy her single problem from itunes I guarantee you, you are absolutely going to love it. Thank you for being here, Aaron. One final question. New Jersey native, Super Bowl today. Who are you going for? Oh, well, you know, I'm a New Jersey, New York girl, so I got to say the Giants. Get it together, cause you know it's a chase. I ain't sorry if I broke your heart, cause baby, you had mine.